a Sunday morning fire at Baker Elementary School off Wilson Road in Henrico's East End. It was difficult finding the seat of the fire. Once that was located, the fire was quickly extinguished. Smoke and water damage, which means they won't be open tomorrow or Tuesday. And school administrators are exploring all options right now on how the school will move forward. So when I arrived on scene, um, Dr. Ken Law was there. Um, the county manager was there, and so we just stood there for a second and said, okay, so what's our next steps? So immediately, we know that at minimum, students were not going to be in school the next day, and that we would have to have immediate contingency plans to continue with instruction if students were going to be out of school beyond two days. So on Sunday, as the fire was being extinguished, uh, we're looking at student capacities of all of our schools to see what type of flexibility, what type of capacity exists. And it was determined that Mayford and Verina, number one, the locality of it was close to Baker, and that number two, we thought they could support enough classrooms, and, and then we had to discuss how to do with pre-K and the federal programs, um, and so it, it was determined that Newbridge would be the best location. I was up here at school by about 10.30, walking a building, marking classrooms, deciding what needed to be moved and getting ready to turn the classrooms over. We had to go to the schools that were being proposed for relocation. We had to assess the facilities, determine which rooms could be made available, where teachers would need to move if there were spaces where people had to unoccupy and relocate. Art and music have gone to the carts now so they're traveling um, my speech teacher OT my guidance counselor people that didn't have actual classrooms of kids willingly gave up their classrooms our stem lab places like that we have gone from uh, almost doubling the amount of students and staff in our school but it's been incredible the amount of support and people willing to help out we had probably 20, 30 people at least coming in here, cleaning out rooms, bringing supplies. Whatever we asked for, it was provided. And it was just a, a, the team coming together and, and making it happen. So as you can imagine, there's so much that has to happen for all of this. To we got the staff together and informed them of where we were at. It was uh, definitely emotional. The Baker, we're a family. And um, it was an emotional time, but then we quickly got back up, we processed. The teachers were allowed to go back to visit Baker um, for about a half an hour, and they were told specifically what items they could bring out. So they really walked out with nothing but maybe a computer or something that they could wipe down. Um, but the kids walked out with nothing, so everything that they left at school on Friday is still there. The, they, you know, didn't skip a beat. They, we gave them time to reflect and process, and then we said, okay, the, the wind blew us this way, let's change our sails, and we went to Mayford and Verina. Yeah. Room 18? Come on. <laughs> this is a nice room, too. Yeah. Oh, good, and you have a promethium board. Morning meeting needs to be longer, we need to, like, have a discussion. I can't imagine the thoughts and processes they've gone through of having to come to a brand new school with hardly anything. So we wanted to open up the school and make it as welcome as possible. We had a faculty meeting with, with the Baker teachers and the Verina teachers, and it really showed that even though it's two different schools, we all are one together. Good evening. It's great to see such a good turnout. Our school hours remain the same as well as breakfast. My biggest concern going into this was to make sure the community felt safe and understood what happened. And I wanted my parents to know that we were going to take care of their kids and we were going to nurture and love their kids like we always do. Once we were given the direction that that's how it was going to go, we went from there and started really building two schools in a matter of a day and a half when usually we have the summer to do that. We realized that that we were impacting the staff at both schools and so we provided the technology from Baker and so we've got copiers from Baker so we're not impacting the copier use. We've got a printer in every classroom so that we, we don't have to go share printers. They've got their own cows, their own calves. They've basically got what they had at their old school so that the impact to the staff here should be very minimal. 
We plan to offer safe and efficient transportation to our Baker students just as we have all school year. They're just going to have a slightly longer ride. The vast majority of kids will have the same driver on the same bus, so that familiarity should be uh, definitely in place, and we hope that it'll be a smooth transition. Brandon! Hey, buddy! Oh, how are you? We, we realized pretty quickly that the kids and the parents maybe initially thought that students were going to lose their teacher and that there'd be a collaborative kind of setting, new teacher, new school, but once they realized their teacher would be with them, that they'd have their own classroom, all fell into place. That was the part that was emotional when the kids realized that they would have their teachers and they'd see the same administrative staff, Ms. Kennedy, Ms. Harris, Mr. Orth, Dr. Hardy, would be around in both schools. It became something that they knew it would be okay, and we saw that in their face. Today has been absolutely wonderful. It's a wonderful experience to be here. The kids are excited because they're in a new place. came to the auditorium for our morning meeting. We've had breakfast already. They are, are going to continue to get the same meal, the same menu items. Uh, they'll have basically the same procedure when they get off the bus or when they go to class, but our staff is ready to serve them and make sure that they're fed and get back to class to learn. Come on in, room number 10. I'm gonna let a few of you in at a time just so it's not too much. And when you find your seat, and your coat and your book bag on your chair. And you so I want you guys to talk with me about how you're feeling today. So we're all back together again, right? How cool is that? You know, I'm going to put one box at each table so you guys can share the colors until we get more of them out. These two sides parallel? No. No. What do they do? One last thing and then I'll dismiss you. We can. We can. We will. We will. We are Baker Strong. We are Baker Strong.